To understand what is kinematic reversibility, we first have to understand what is a low Reynolds number viscous flow. So what is the Reynolds number? The Reynolds number is proportional to the ratio of inertial forces and viscous forces in a fluid flow. It determines whether a fluid flow is laminar or turbulent. So when the Reynolds number is high, we say we are in the turbulent flow. Whether when the Reynolds number is small, we say we are in the laminar flow, that is characterized by the smooth path of the particles of the fluid, and it's also referred as the viscous flow. In this flow, in which inertia only plays a very small part in the conditions that determine the motion, well, we have reversibility when the direction of the motion of the boundaries that give rise to the flow is reversed. So this reversibility phenomenon can be seen if we take a very, very viscous fluid, for example, glycerol or corn syrup, we stain it with a um, drop of food colorant, and we place it between two concentric cylinders. So let's say that we will move the inner cylinder and rotate it clockwise a certain amount of turn, slowly though, so we keep the laminar flow, to um, what appears to be a mixing. And then we will change the direction of the rotation and go counterclockwise the same amount of turn. We will then arrive to what appears to be the same initial state. This is a demonstration of the kinematic reversibility in a Taylor quad flow. So the Taylor quad flow is a flow that takes place between two concentric cylinders with one mobile. It was invented by Sir Taylor and Quet, a French researcher that first created this setup to study viscosity, and then Sir Taylor was uh, using this setup to study the stability and turbulences of fluids. A cheap way to reproduce this in your lab is to use just a beaker, fill it with corn syrup and use a tube to uh, reproduce the inner cylinders that you can then rotate. The magic of this flow comes from the non-slip boundary condition. The fluid we use, so the corn syrup, really wants to stick to the inner and the outer cylinder. So if we look at the surface, we will see some nice spiral patterns and this is actually the proof that we are in a viscous flow. We know that this phenomenon, the kinematic reversibility, can be observed in the consumer. But what if we change the viscosity of this medium? If we add water, for example, that is less viscous, we will decrease the Reynolds number. And at some point, this phenomenon will not be observable anymore. So what are the critical proportions of water versus corn syrup so we can still see the kinematic reversibility? In our experiments, we tried different proportions to try to find this critical ratio and our results are detailed in this video. 